Hey everyone, CPO here, and in this video, I think I'm gonna go ahead and update the firmware on this Tyrannus. This is old school. I was one of the early adopters of the Tyrannus. This is a very early edition X9D, before the Plus was even uh, talked about yet. So that's how uh, long I've had this. The battery in this is already shot, just to catch you up to speed on that, that stock, whatever it is, nickel metal hydride, 800 milliamp battery toast man it's been sitting in here uh, basically uh, discharging itself for about three years and I can try and force it to come back to life but ah screw it I just got a new battery for it I did go back with nickel metal hydride I didn't go for a life or a lipo uh, but I got the new um, LSD version uh, with a 2000 milliamp uh, so much better battery and uh, yeah, designed for this radio. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that. And uh, let's get this firmware updated. I don't know how hard it's gonna be. I've got the original firmware, like OpenTX 1 something, 1 1.9, I don't remember what it was, but uh, let's update this. <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see, it looks like I bricked my Tyrannus. I'm not super nervous. Uh, it's just not going as easy as I expected it to. So let me start figuring this out. Here we go now. Here 
20 minutes later All right, here's the solution to the problem. Uh, first of all, um, I was updating firmware, but I didn't update the SD card contents yet. So I had to download the current folder structure uh, because with the new firmware, it's looking for different SD card stuff. So got that updated, got a little bit closer, but I was still having some problems with, it's still like the original 2015 bootloader that I have on there, but it's not compatible. When I try and flash the current version of OpenTX, it just keeps telling me um, that it's the firmware that's on there now is not compatible with the new firmware and it won't overwrite it. So the solution to that was unchecking that box that says check firmware compatibility. So once I unchecked that, it let me write the current firmware over the old firmware. Everything is now up and awesome. So there we go, my Tyrannus is up to date. Um, I do have a bunch of radios. I run a Futaba for my helis. I've got several Spectrum radios and other things, but I, I really like the Tyrannus for uh, my multi-rotors and so um, in my planes. Uh, it's just so configurable and I'm really curious to see what the new capabilities of OpenTX, especially with Lua scripting, give me. Uh, but regardless, this thing is now ready to go and I have a Mobulus 7 on the way. So. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna start playing with that multi-rotor I have already built, with that ancient flight controller card, or if I'm gonna update that. Um, but the Mobulus 7 should be a good way to sort of get back into things. I can run it at 1S indoors and sort of play around with it. It's got an OSD, um, and so I got that coming uh, however long it takes to get from China. So anyway, guys, uh, more to come. Anyway, if you wanna update your ancient Tyrannus, maybe this video helped you. If you like laughing at me, maybe this video helped you. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.